Welcome to another Fresh Service Tips and Tricks. My name is Kyle Hamilton. I'm a sales engineer with Flycast Partners. The title of today's video will be how to share a ticket with another requester. There may be occasions within your environment that you have need to get input from another user or perhaps even give visibility into your resolution process to another user. Um, for that purpose, Fresh Service has provided the feature called ticket sharing. That can be done directly from the customer portal. And we'll walk through the steps that you can go through to actually share a ticket with another requester in your instance of Fresh Service. For those of you looking to share tickets with other users or other members within your team or other departments, you can access this from the customer portal by going to the open ticket section found at the bottom of your portal. Select any ticket available to you in your portal and you'll find a share button available to you in the upper right hand corner. The top box that you see here adds users as full owners of the ticket. Meaning if I share uh, this ticket with Jim, Jim gets added to the list of people this ticket is shared with up at the top. That gives them full access to be able to reply to this ticket, to be able to close this ticket, or to even be able to share this ticket with other users that they wish. Now, the other thing I can do for those <clears throat> people that I've shared tickets is I can choose to also send them email updates and email notifications. So if I want them to be included or CC'd on all the emails, I can do that in addition to giving them access to the information through the customer portal. Now, down at the bottom, you have a secondary option for being able to share a ticket. These are called ticket watchers or CC users. These users can be added as well. And these users would simply be getting the email notifications. So in this case, Jim and Pam don't have access to be able to look at the ticket in their portal. They cannot reply, they cannot close, they cannot share this ticket with other users. However, they will receive the close email and they will receive the update emails and all the notes that get added to the ticket. Anything that goes out via email they'll receive that without having full access. That's why you'll see those users broken out into those users that you've CC'd those emails on so that you can clearly and visibly see which users are receiving the email updates about your tickets and which users you've granted that full access or full ownership to within the ticket. Now, a couple of key things to remember in regards to ticket sharing. If you don't see the button at the top right hand corner of your screen, the admin uh, has to go in and enable ticket sharing. So if you don't see that, you might want to ping your admin, make sure that they enable ticket sharing, and then you'll see that share button enabled, um, giving you access to do everything um, that we've seen here today. So as a wrap up today, let's talk, wrap up, you know, kind of the key aspects of this. Ticket sharing is there within Fresh Service so that you can give other users access to be able to get information and updates about your tickets and their resolution, or to give other users the ability to actually act upon your ticket in your absence, for instance, so that they can make sure that something gets resolved in a timely manner. Um, ticket sharing is provided to give you that easy um, tool to be able to share that ticket with users within your department or even users outside of your department. Thank you for watching another Fresh Service Tips and Tricks presented by Flycast Partners. If you like our videos and this content, please like and subscribe to always be updated on the latest tips and tricks. And if you need more Fresh Service help or resources, reach out to Flycast Partners Professional Services at info at flycastpartners.com.